We're going to show you a couple turbos that I have that are ready to ship out that are for sale as of today. I have a couple of these 6767 HE351Vs that are already done. I think I have three of those total. There's another one. These have the upgraded exhaust wheel and compressor wheel. Here's a 6.0 power stroke turbo. I have one of those available. This Duramax is actually a customer's. That's like an LLY conversion I did. This HE351CW 67 millimeter compressor and 67 millimeter turbine. I have that one available. That one's a brand new turbo. That's all for this side. Let's see what we have on the left side here. One 6.0 turbo here and one HE351V 67 millimeter with the T51R mod done. There's a HX35 upgrade. So that one has a 62 millimeter compressor and a 67 millimeter turbine. And it's got a brand new exhaust housing that's already machined for the 67 millimeter turbine. And I also include the plate that's machined for the bigger turbine that connects to the exhaust. Some models don't use that plate. Some of them use an elbow, like the 24 valve uses the elbow. So the 12 valve, I think, I think it's the 12 valve that uses the plate. There's a Subaru Turbo I've had for a while. That's a 20G. And a couple power strokes I'm working on that aren't done yet. Here's a HX40. 60, yeah, that's a 67 right there. So that one's a 67, 67. The 67 millimeter compressor and turbine with the whole sets. I've had people make 724 horsepower on the Dodge, so that's really good for a diesel. On the gas motors, those are in the 900 horsepower range. Here's a Volvo turbo I've had for a while. It's got a 50 millimeter compressor and a TO 4HL 9 blade turbine. Uh, that's another 62-67 for a 12 valve. You could also put on the 24 valve. There's a couple differences, but the way we make them you can mount this up directly to the 24 valve. You just bolt your elbow on there. And then the other thing about it is the way the studs are here. This doesn't have studs here. I'm kind of curious if I could thread this to put studs in there. I need to check into that. Of course, there's probably another way that you can go about mounting that without doing the studs. You could use just a bolt and not. That's a HX 4062 millimeter. I don't know why that one's here. That one might be a customer's, I'm not sure. This one has the T3.82 housing. I've had some people use that on the Dodge. So this one's twin scroll for the Dodge. This one is just open, it's not twin scroll. You could still mount that on the Dodge. I've had some people do it and they really liked it. It's, I guess it's just like a preference. It, deals away with the wastegate and the twin scroll. Some people want to keep the wastegate though. Some people don't. It's just kind of like a preference. I kind of think it makes sense to keep the wastegate if you need boost control. Some people, they, depending on how they design the turbo, you don't need the wastegate, but in some cases you do need it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much, that's everything for what I've had that's done. I mean, this cartridge, I don't know what that one's for. I know what it is, but I just don't know why it's sitting there. I guess it goes with that compressor housing to do a ball bearing turbo build. That would be good for close to a thousand horsepower. Here's one I've had been sitting here for a while. I did it for a guy. I felt like I did it in a reasonable time frame, but he said I took too long. I think I did it in like a week or something, but I guess you need it faster. This one is a HE350 or HE341, and it's so this was on the 2003 model. 
Dodge Cummins. Some of them came on the early 04. You notice that it doesn't have that sensor or the uh, boost control solenoid here. This one has a 62 millimeter compressor and I think that it has a stock turbine in there. That's not really that great of a combination. But if somebody wants this one, I can upgrade the turbine to a 67 millimeter turbine and that would be a really good combination. So that one's also available. If you're interested in any of these turbos, just call tomorrow 276-692-2900 or you could also send an email at turbolabamerica at gmail.com.